In Santa Monica, the signs point to a vote pitting neighbor against neighbor. The battle is over measure LV. Supporters came out along the 10 freeway to take their case to voters. If LV is approved, it would put strict limits on developers, essentially blocking developers from building anything over two stories unless voters approved it through an election. Well, there's too much development has already been approved in Santa Monica and too much more is in the pipeline. Armin Meliconians co-wrote Measure LV. He says it will reduce traffic and protect the city from greedy developers. We're saying that residents should have the final say because we can't trust our elected officials to make the right decisions anymore. I just think that argument is really uh, intellectually dishonest. Jason Islas is working to defeat LV. He says LV supporters are making promises they cannot keep. It would likely increase traffic rather than make it better. Um, by sort of forcing, you know, people to continue to have to commute in, you know, the majority of Santa Monica's traffic is people who work here. Gabby Corona has lived in Santa Monica her entire life. She says her neighborhood is divided on the issue, but she supports LV. They're coming knocking on my door saying, can we buy your duplex? And I know what they're going to do. They're going to knock it down and put these condos. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to afford it. The idea that stopping new development would eliminate traffic in Santa Monica is absolutely insane and totally disingenuous, I think, by the people who are saying it. If LV were to pass, there would be certain exemptions. For example, affordable housing would be exempted. So would senior housing. There's also certain parcels of land and sections of downtown that would not be included. We're live tonight in Santa Monica. Jeff and Susie, back to you.